हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर दलजीत कौर एंड फ्रेंड्स आई एम हियर विद यू टू शेयर माय स्टडी नोट्स ऑन इन्फेक्शस डिजीज एंड हाउ डू वी कंट्रोल देम एंड व्हाट आर द मोड्स ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन सो हाउ इट ट्रांसमिट्स बेसिकली सो हाउ इन्फेक्शस डिजीज ट्रांसमिट्स इट हैज एजेंट होस्ट एनवायरमेंट दिस इज कॉल्ड एपिडेमोलॉजिकल ट्रायड these three are important to get transmission of any infectious disease like agent bacteria viruses parasites host can be human being or animal environment how this environment help to transmit the disease through the agent to the host so that is how it is important there are many modes of transmission indirect transmission it can transmit through touching coughing if someone sneezes or cough it can transmit through the air respiratory route and through sexual intercourse it or like hiv and many sexually transmitted diseases can transmit there are another indirect mode of transmission it includes contaminated objects it is called fomite as well if someone touches the surface and then another person can touch that surface and that is how it can transmit the infectious diseases like nowadays we are seeing covid 19 how it is transmitting with someone touches the surface and another person comes and touches and it it transmitted the disease another vectors are also indirect mode of transmission like mosquitoes scent fly tick fly and others this can transmit the disease now let's a uh, let's have a look how do we control them so it can be controlled by a behavior change vaccines surveillance environment infection control programs medication and there are another modes let's have a look one by one for example in behavior change if someone is using condoms to protect with the sexually transmitting diseases hand washing it is a behavior change if someone is practicing hand washing so that it can be useful for the prevention of transmission of disease how healthy diets is also important to uh, more of less getting the risk of disease repellents are also important to prevent the mosquito borne diseases like malaria and all others dengue and these are the targets of health programs how the behavior change can uh, prevent the disease so that is how it is important to control the infectious diseases another is vaccines so vaccines are very important in public health actually that is very important advancement it is important uh, in immunization like uh, bcg if we give it prevent from the tuberculosis mainly from the miliary tuberculosis and uh, vaccines can be given to the individuals and Uh, it can protect the another's as well like herd immunity if we give opv oral polio vaccine it can prevent the disease to another as well another children as well so this is is creating immunity in the community so that is how it is herd immunity another is to control the infectious diseases its medication it can be antimicrobial treatment uh, for the bacteria parasites and prevention in that we can use before the exposure that is called pre exposure prophylaxis or pre exposure medication or treatment if we are giving and if uh, post exposure prophylaxis like for example uh, we give in dog bite uh, for prevention of rabies that is called post exposure prophylaxis and uh, surveillance surveillance is also important for in control the infectious diseases first we do monitor the diseases and continuous scrutiny of the factors so that uh, disease pattern and if there is any outbreak to detect it and disease control programs mainly focuses into the surveillance and uh, there are many countries that are mainly preventing the notifiable diseases there are many diseases which can be notified like cholera yellow fever plague okay and environmental measures that can be also used like vector control if we use hmm, safe water to drink sanitation and hygiene housing 
वर्किंग कंडीशंस है ना हाउ द पर्सनस इज़ वर्किंग इन दैट एनवायरनमेंट सो दैट इट कैन रिड्यूस देयर सोशल स्ट्रेस फूड सेफ्टी एंड एयर क्वालिटी दैट इज़ आल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट टू टू कंट्रोल इन्फेक्शंस नाउ देर आर मेनी मेजर्स लाइक इफ वी स्टरलाइज एनी इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स और इक्विपमेंट इफ यू आर यूजिंग सो दैट वी कैन प्रिवेंट द ट्रांसमिशन और कंट्रोल द इन्फेक्शस डिजीज ट्रांसमिशन पर्सनल प्रोटेक्टिव इक्विपमेंट like in covid 19 even for many diseases even hiv yeah, we are supposed to use personal protective equipment for example gloves mask uh, eye shield hmm? these all other things isolation isolation is also very important to prevent the disease transmission in that what is that till the maximum period of incubation period we separate the uh, disease person from the Uh, another suspected population so that is how it is important and quarantine is another important term which usually asked in the exam that is we do till the maximum period of infectivity okay and that is for the suspected population not to the disease population so quarantine is mainly for healthy population and contacts can be okay another is hand washing steps all of you know there are hospital surveillance system to see the data if there are many diseases are getting more of transmitted they are more focused to prevent that disease so uh, there are uh, another measures to prevent the infectious disease uh, it can be a broader term like uh, if you improve the social determinants like improving the education improving the occupation and improving the strong improving the health system healthcare services you can provide them properly okay and uh, so that they can get proper healthcare needs so this is how it is called one health concept it can be coordinated with another branches of the uh, this thing health it can be veterinary sciences integrated and environmental sciences like animals if we study so that is how uh, agent host environment epidemiological triad works and this can be prevention of infectious disease control uh, hopefully it has helped friends uh, thank you so much for your time all the best and stay connected with dr diljit kaur